my favourite scene in series one was um, the character Monica is just about to, to leave the prison and um, her son who suffers from Down syndrome has died and um, she she gets very suicidal, the mother that is, Monica, and she's about to be reinstated, you know, in the real world. And um and there's a scene that Nikki has with Monica before she leaves the prison and um she basically gives her a piece of her mind. But I think it's a I think it's a really, really great scene and um that was definitely my favourite. Do you know what it feels like having space another ten years at this? We all struggle along and trying to make the best of things. And when someone like you says you'd rather be dead than free. I'm sorry. Everyone who gets up here gets up for all of us. The whole idea of the series that I thought was going to be very interesting and um it's great fodder for drama. Um and uh yeah, so well here's a chance to bring out my bossy side. <laughs> what Nikki and Helen have is that they get each other. They don't even have to talk about it. She knows what Nikki's feeling, and Nikki knows what Helen's going through more than her fiance, more than <clears throat> the other screws that work with her. You know, and that's I think apart from a physical thing, that's really the basis of their attraction. And so you have that intimacy, but in a place where they can't be intimate, so it immediately makes it an interesting situation, but whether it can actually be consummated is, um, well, it looks a bit slim, the chances, really, I'd say. But we're certainly to have a satisfactory and fulfilling time. It will, well, they'll always be in some way incarcerated, you know, to wherever they are. You had no right taking advantage of me. Well, put me down the block then, go on. Rule 47, subsection 16, being disrespectful to the wing governor. By kissing her. I had a flickering reservation, uh, which is basically based in not wanting to get typecast, not wanting to be seen as the gay character and the bad girls, you know. Actually, there's a lot more than one anyway, but, you know, the prominent one. And then, in a way, I thought, well, that's quite a challenge, you know, what's that all about? In fact, when you look at it, there's all these sort of terribly correct, politically correct castings of, you know, gay characters, and actually they don't really, I feel, conquer the issue. At the end of the day, you put the label on them, which is, you know, the gay one, and I thought, above anything, I don't want that label. I want to, you know, I want to break that mold. I want people to think of her as the fiery one or the, you know, the one with the heart of gold, but she's a bit heart on the outside or whatever and then afterwards there's an afterthought, oh yeah, and she's gay. What you really little Dora, it's a story about terrible prison. Thank goodness we got rid of all of those. You're doing your bit, Helen. Most of the girls in here know that deep down. Yeah, but for how much longer than they come here. I'm just getting it from all sides, thank you. You know? In the bathroom. It just would be so much easier just to give in. Do you have anything like that? No. In fact, if I remember rightly, it was a tricky scene and we had to do 17 takes. Uh, but yeah, we hit it in the end, I think. I mean, you do the same thing that you do as if it was a guy, you know, you sort of look at their face and you imagine which part you'd like to kiss and why, you know, and just try to get lost in that, that's what you do. I mean, you find some part of that person to fall in love with, really. It's disgusting. Honestly, I wish you'd brush your teeth. No, um, that was great. Uh, I haven't kissed a woman before, and, um, it was interesting, um, because it was not any different, really, from kissing a man. No, it is different from kissing a man. I don't know. Uh, it was nice, you know. I'm close to Mandana, and we're able to just kind of let go a bit with one another and trust one another. So, uh, yeah, it was a very pleasant experience. To be honest, I haven't kissed a woman before, and um, 
Uh, I, when we did when we did the first kiss, it took 16 takes, believe it or not, and everyone goes, oh, her director and all the rest of it. But it wasn't that. It was that to film a kiss that just happens is actually one of the hardest things to do. I mean, when it happens in real life and you just kiss, it's incredibly hard to consciously recreate something that just happens. It is virtually impossible, actually. And basically, when I managed it, Simon didn't, and when Simon did, I didn't. And it had to be that it just happened for both of us. So it felt a little bit like we were OAPs and had been married 40 years by the end of it. Um, but I didn't have a problem at all. And I've worked with Simon before, and, you know, she's gorgeous anyway, so, you know, it's fine. Great response from the fans. Um, I've had some amazing letters from people. I mean, I'm surprised by, uh, you know, children that watch it. Quite frankly, I find it a little bit alarming, you know. I, I was doing some lengths in the swimming pool. You know, you think that you're completely sort of invisible when you're wet, you know. Like sort of pooch, little dog. It doesn't look the same wet as it does dry, you know. Someone you recognise me. And um, in the cap and the gogs and everything. <laughs> And uh, they said, oh, my little boy loves it. He watches it all the time. And I said, where's the little boy? And he was down. He was, like, tiny. A lot of mad people work on this program. <laughs> um, just constantly, um, a lot of play. Uh, you know, everyone's very playful and uh, joking about. And we take that out as well. We go out together a lot. We go dancing a lot. Um, yeah, I really like them. Yeah, I get on well with a lot of people here. Everybody loves everybody's differences. Everybody's very supportive, and it makes an atmosphere which is really relaxed. A bit like when you go to, um, like, an all-female health club, you can just be yourself, you know. When you go to a, a gay club, you can just be yourself. Um, and that's, that's been very, very, very enjoyable.